Good morning, everybody. First off, I'd just like to say how thankful and how incredibly delighted I am to be here and to have the opportunity to share, to listen to such wonderful new ideas and to share some ideas of my own. Every time I stand on such a stage, I ask myself, why are you a heavyweight? Why are you standing in front of all these smart, intimidating, successful, grown-up people and expecting them to hear you out? The answer, like all good things in life, is quite simple. I'm here because putting aside all my self-doubt, putting aside all my family-related, age-related, society-related, Putting aside all the limitations in my regular life, I am willing to make a change. No matter how small, no matter how big, no matter how insignificant, no matter how great, we all need to be willing to take that first tiny step to change. And that's all it really takes, a tiny little first step. I love going to school. I love going to school even more when I get something new, maybe a new bag, a new pencil pouch, a new hairband, because I, I, it, get, it gives me new hope. It gives me new hope to try it out. And so, I'm sure you all have experienced this too, when you get maybe a new suit, a new car, a new a laptop, a new phone. It just makes it a little bit better. And so, one day, when I, near the end of my year, I was giving away my school bag to another little girl because I was not going to use it anymore and I was going to get a new one soon. I was giving it off to the house helper's daughter. This was, she, as soon as she got it, her face lit up. She broke into the widest grin and she hugged the bag and thanked me. She turned, in those few seconds, she turned from a bored student to an ecstatic little girl who had new hope of going to school, who had new hope of making a change in her world. And this got me wondering, if, if one little bag could make such a difference in someone's life, why weren't there more bags making more differences in more lives? And this led to the birth of bags, books, and blessings. The Right to Education Act in India guarantees education for students between the age of 6 and 14. So now more children are going to school. But are they learning more? And are they learning better? The annual status of education report showed that 50% of class 8 students could not do simple division. And one-fourth of them could not, did not have basic reading skills. Education department sources revealed that 34 lakh government school students will make do with only one set of uniform for this entire year. Moreover, the Unified District Information System of India showed that 75% of schools, a whopping 75% of schools, lack access to decent science labs. And so, in my own small way, I set out to help reduce this terrifying education and literacy crisis in India. Bags, Books and Blessings is an initiative where we collect reusable supplies, such as bags, books, lunch boxes, pencil boxes, um, shoes, uniforms, from students who have a surplus of them and donate it to schools and children who are in need of them. Near the end of each year, we campaign extensively. We spread awareness through social media and on and off social media about what, when, where, and how to donate these supplies. We go, around, we go all around school, we stick up posters, we talk to teachers, we talk to students, we talk to parents, and by the end of the year, we have an enormous pile of donated items. We then go through each of these items, see, how, see in what condition they are, and then sort them into ca different categories, shoes, books, slates, bags, water bottles, text box, uh, textbooks, sorry. And then we load them into a truck and ship them off to the schools. 
In the schools, we band together with some of the school students and create a long human chain all the way from the truck to the room where the, um, the supplies are going to be stored. I found that this was actually a very good team building exercise because it showed us how to deduce when the other needs help and how to then help them out and support them in what they're doing. So the one dropping all of the things is me. Bags, Books and Blessings carried out its first donation drive in 2015. And at the end of four years, I am proud to say that Bags, Books and Blessings has been able to help 11,500 students so far. Some donated in kind, while some donated in cash. And near the end of um, 2015, we had enough funds gathered to take this change initiative to the next level, where we can try to solve slightly bigger problems. And this led to the birth of Yearn to Learn. Through Yearn to Learn, we open science and math laboratories in schools and colleges that do not have any. So we open math, physics, chemistry, and biology. And we supply them with all the equipment they can possibly need. To date, we have been able to open 120 labs in 30 schools. Students, students who had never before, been, had never before been inside laboratories are now conducting experiments with a lot of confidence. These students, this change in their learning method has in turn inspired them to explore out of the classroom, to explore out of the textbook, and enjoy science in a way it truly should be. These students are now becoming problem solvers. A student whose father suffered from problems that barred him from moving freely created a robotic serving tray to help him out. Another student who suffered major power crisis, uh, crises near her house created a hydroelectricity unit. A student whose, whose grandmother suffered from arthritis created a hydraulic lift, a prototype of a hydraulic lift to help her out. Another group of students created a water level indicator alarm that can be placed in overhead tanks and can, de and can detect uh, any overflow so as to prevent water wastage. This list is endless. What these students are implementing in their houses today will tomorrow go on to benefit their villages and then one day their cities, then our nation, and then the entire world. Students from these schools are also gearing up for many inter-school and uh, science exhibitions. There are numerous letters pouring in from all the schools about how their grades have increased significantly because they are now, because this practical education has helped them understand science much better. In 2017, 300 students from these 30 schools participated in the International Mathematics Olympiad and the National Science Olympiad. This was their first time participating in such difficult and competitive exams. And the results were extremely promising, with 26 winning gold medals, 23 receiving silver medals, 24 bronze, and one medal of distinction. In 2018, more than double the number of students participated in the Olympiads, with 51 getting gold, 36 getting silver, and 33 winning bronze. One small step leads to other small steps. That leads, to big, that leads to small changes, that leads to big changes. However, it was not always smooth sailing, or in this case, child's play. Initially, the funds were gathered through donation drives and crowdfunding platforms. Everybody wants change, everybody wants things to be better. And this beautiful, hopeful enthusiasm got us going with donations from uncles, aunts, friends, and relatives. However, donations are still a short-term solution, and, to, uh, and, to, and they were not enough to sustain our activities over a long period of time. If we wanted to keep opening new labs, and if we wanted to keep restocking, uh, restocking them, we needed a more steady flow of income. So, in Jan 2017, I, la I launched my e-commerce website, knickknacks.com. Through knickknacks.com, we sell funny and quirky gifting products, and 100% of the proceeds from knickknacks.com are used to fund Yearn to Learn activities. So you guys can relax. I'm not here to ask for your money. Be generous. So to conclude, be generous, not just with your time, 
but also with your money and knowledge. If you're a year four engineering student, help out a year two engineering student with their project. If you're a year two engineering student, help out a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader. And speaking from personal experience of being an 11th grader, we definitely need the help. We, as humans, are each other's only hope. None of us too insignificant, all of us heavyweights by virtue of what we do. So do more. Make a difference. Make any difference. Make a small difference. And as the wise old men at Nike said, just do it. Thank you all for having me here. <laughs>